Hi friends, Juan the Yarn Addict here bringing you another stitch pattern tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet the rice stitch. So what you see before you today is a very, very simple stitch to work up. Believe it or not, it literally is just one setup row of double crochets and then a one row repeat thereafter. So this is worked up in any odd number of chains and I show you how to do this every step of the way. It's super, super easy, and regardless of the yarn that you use, the pattern looks exactly the same. So this little swatch is worked up using a roving style yarn. It's very, very nice. And this is a worsted four weight yarn. You can use any weight of yarn. I do suggest that you follow the recommended hook size for the yarn of your choice. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. Okay friends, so to get started what we need to do is create a slip knot on our hook. However you do this is absolutely fine. This is how I do it. And so from here what we want to do is chain an odd number of chains. For the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to be chaining 21. 4 and 5. And so I'm going to continue chaining until I have my 21 chains. I'll be back in just a second. Okay friends, so I have 21 chains. And so from here, what we need to do is go into the third chain from the hook. So we have one, two, and three. So into that chain, we're going to insert a double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, go into the chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two. And we're going to do that to every chain in the row. So every chain gets a double crochet. Just like this. And again, it's a yarn over, go into the chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two. Just like this. So continue doing double crochets for every chain in the row, and I will see you at the end of our chains here. Okay friends, so I've inserted a double crochet into every chain of this row. From here you want to verify that you have an odd number of stitches. So all the way here to the side, you want to make sure that you're not including your chains here. If you remember, when we first started we skipped chains to start our double crochets. You're not including that, so you're only including the actual stitches. So just count your stitches and make sure that you have an odd number of stitches, okay? So once you have verified that, from here, what you want to do is chain one and turn your work. Now the chain one does not count as a stitch. And from here, what you want to do is go into this very first stitch right in between my thumbs with a half double crochet. So you want to yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three of those loops just like that. From here we're going to do a front post double crochet. So right here in between my thumbs we're going to yarn over, go down and around that stitch just like that, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. Now every single row that you start for this particular pattern you will start the row with a half double crochet and a front post double crochet on both sides. Again, half double and a front post double, okay? So from here, what you want to do is a back post double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, come from the back, around the front, and to the back again. Draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two yarn over and go through two. And we're going to repeat that all the way down for the row, for our second row here. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to do a front post double now. Just like this. And now we're going to do a back post. So we're going to yarn over, come from the back, around the front and to the back again, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. And now we're going to do a front post. Yarn over, come through the front, around the back, and to the front. 
and do our double crochet as per normal. So we're going to alternate. And as you can see, we have three front post double crochets on the front and two back post double crochets on the back. Okay? So continue doing this for the rest of the row, and I will see you down here at the end of row number two. Make sure you're alternating between back and front post double crochets for the entire row. Just like this. Okay. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of row number two. And as you can see, I have two stitches remaining. Again, we're not counting any of these chains. So actual stitches, we have two stitches left. Okay, you can kind of see them right here. All right, so you want to make sure that you end every row with a front post double crochet. So you're going to yarn over and do your front post double crochet as per usual. And then for this last stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, go into your last stitch, making sure that you pick up your front loop and your back loop, just like that. Draw a loop, yarn over, and go through all three loops, just like that. And so that is the end of the second row. Okay, to start row three, what you want to do, and this is the constant, this is the repeat, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and again, the chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to go right into that first stitch with a half double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three loops. Now if you notice, the very first stitch is a front post from the other side, but when we turn it, it looks like a back post. So we have to make a front post double crochet here. So we're going to yarn over, go in and around the top part of that stitch, and do a front post double crochet. So we're literally doing the opposites. So if you're looking at a front post, you need to do a back post. And if you're seeing a back post, you need to do a front post. So this next stitch looks like a front post double crochet, which means in the row that we're in, we need to do a back post. So we need to yarn over, come from the back, around the front, and out the back again, draw up a loop and bring that all the way through, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. This next stitch looks like it's a back post double crochet, right? So now we need to make a front post double crochet out of that. So we're going to yarn over, go in and around the stitch just like this, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two, just like that. And what we're doing is we're alternating. We're alternating the stitches. So this looks like a front post double to me. So now in the row that we're in, we need to make it a back post. So we're going to yarn over, come from the back, around the front, and out the back again, draw up a loop, come all the way through, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And we're repeating that pattern all the way down. And this is the repeat for the rest of the project. You're literally working the opposite posts, okay? And that is the right stitch, just like that. So continue working the opposite posts all the way down, and I will see you at the end of row number three. Okay, friends, so I am at the end of row number three. I just have two stitches remaining. I need to insert a front post double crochet. And the last stitch of every row should be a half double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, go in, making sure we pick up the front loop and the back loop. Draw up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. So the repeat is the same for every single row. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and go into the first stitch with a half double crochet, yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. 
and the first post of every row is going to be a front post. Double crochet. So yarn over, go in and around the back and out the front and perform your front post double crochet just like that. Okay? So let me just grab some more yarn here. The next stitch is going to be the opposite. We're looking at a front post. We need to make it a back post. So yarn over, come in the back and around the front and out the back again. Draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And that is pretty much it. So just a quick little recap. The first stitch and the last stitch should be half double crochets. The first post and the last post should be front post double crochets, okay? So continue on with this row and I will meet you down here at the end of the row. Okay friends, so I'm at the end of row number four and as I mentioned, the last post of the row is a front post double crochet. The last stitch of the row should be a half double. So yarn over, go in to this last stitch. You can kind of see it right here. We're gonna go into that stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three of those loops, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do several more rows off camera just to show you what a bigger version of this looks like and then we will go from there, okay? So continue on with this and I shall see you in a moment. Okay friends, so I've done several more rows, and as you can see it looks super, super nice. There's a wonderful grid-like pattern that happens when you alternate the front post and the back posts. Super, super nice, and it looks exactly the same on both sides. Very nice. I also took the liberty of working up a little swatch using roving style yarn just to show you that even though the yarns are different, the overall effect is exactly the same. Very, very nice. So my friends, that is it for this stitch pattern tutorial. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And of course, hit those notifications to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. Thank you so much for this one. Until the next one, take care, guys. Bye.